Teddy bear turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Teddy bear, teddy bear, point to your toes. Yay! I love drawing. I love drawing. I love drawing. Yay! Cool, teddy bear. That was awesome. Awesome dance. Okay, guys. Welcome to Monkey Art. And today we're gonna draw super cool excavator. Uh, last time we drew stinky uh, little truck. And today we're gonna draw a little excavator. It's called Dirty. And they're super cool friends. They're cleaning the whole city. And they're always happy and fun. And we're gonna need one black marker. And we're gonna need a lot of crayons or you can use color pencils or color markers as you like and we're gonna need one piece of paper okay guys so we can begin drawing our little excavator okay so first thing we're gonna do is draw his front part and it will go something like that one line up, second line up, and then we connect these two, okay, then we're gonna uh, draw the side, okay, something like that, then we're gonna draw a little curvy line here okay and then we're gonna draw a line to connect these two just like that cool okay now I'm gonna go to this part where he has a little bucket for digging and it goes this little curvy line and another curvy line just like that and then we connect these two okay simple as that and then we're gonna use a little line here and from this side as well so we have some depth for our little bucket okay now let's go and draw the front part with the windows and you can draw windows like squares or rectangles as you like I'm gonna draw them like this and then we're gonna put some eyes inside okay we're gonna draw circle one we're gonna draw a small tiny circle and around it another circle and there we there we go we have one eye let's go and draw another one so we're gonna make a big circle then tiny little circle then another circle around and there we go we have two eyes cool and now he has a little part like this and that will be his nosy nose okay after that we're gonna draw some mouth and it's gonna go all the way around just like that and go down and down and look at him he's smiling Okay, now we're gonna draw another line, and these will be his teeth. Huh, simple as that. Now he has teeth as well. Cool. Okay, so we're done with that part, and now we're gonna go and create some uh, super cool wheels. Okay, we're gonna draw first smaller one and then we're gonna 
draw that huge, huge, huge. Let's see, it's gonna be like this. Okay. And he actually has really thick tires, just like that. I also draw a circle in the middle. And this one will be thick as well. Just like that. And a circle in the middle. Okay. And you can also draw some lines like this. Okay. To make it look more interesting. Huh? Cool. Okay, so now we have two. One, two, and on this side we cannot see them, but we will have four wheels. Okay, and we're gonna draw a little part here. Usually excavator, excavators have those, and some part goes here. Okay, we can just draw it like that. Okay, you can experiment and draw some other stuff, but I'm gonna use it like that. And now we're gonna draw that cool thing, that cool bucket every excavator has, uh, so he can dig in. Okay. So he can do many cool stuff with it. Okay. We're gonna draw something like that. And then we're gonna draw, let's see, lines like this then it will go all the way down just like this another line like that and another line go all the way up and let's say something like that we can draw it something like that okay and now we're gonna draw that little bucket with zigzag lines goes like this zigzag 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 Ooh. cool now let's use a little line here and create similar shape like this for the front it's gonna go like this and on this side and we connect these and look at that we have almost completed it it needs to go a little bit like that actually we missed that a little bit should go here okay, maybe we can fix okay we can do it like that it's okay wow cool he's looking great I love how it, how it looks so far okay now we're gonna go and color guys and we're gonna use also similar colors like we did for our little truck so we're gonna color uh, mainly yellow, use this yellow actually, yeah, it's cooler, and first I'm gonna color like that, with yellow, the top part, and then we're gonna use some orange as well, so it's gonna be really warm gonna have really warm colors like that okay now we can mix we can use some of our orange and color the bottom part with it and then as we go up we mix the colors so we have yellow and we have orange hmm? isn't that cool Let's do also the same thing on this side. So as we go up, we mix these two colors and then it looks really interesting. If you're using crayons, if you're using markers, you can get some other cool things uh, with color pencils. You can also have similar effect like with crayons with these ones wow look how how cool it is it's orangey it's uh, 
yellowish it's so cool so let's do here as well little yellow ye a little orange decide the whole thing I'm gonna color with yellow and you can use some other colors as well if you like and do you know how to get orange huh what two, two colors uh, you need to mix in order to get orange hmm red and yellow mix red and yellow and you get orange but now we have orange like this so we don't need to mix it okay I'm gonna also color the bottom part here and the bottom part here and also inside because it's darker maybe we can even use a little bit of brown use brown just like that and then yellow then I'm gonna mix these two because it's looking really cool when it's mixed and I'm gonna color this part in yellow and let's see this part in yellow and this part in orange and also I'm gonna use some brown to make it a little bit darker at the bottom just like that Okay, cool, it's looking great. And now we can use some other colors. For example, we can use blue for the windows. Hmm? And we can also make some effects. I'm gonna show you now. You can draw line, but soft line like this. Okay, then you can press it more and use strong lines and all the way around strong lines and then you get this like glass effect huh isn't that cool so we use first soft touch soft 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 we don't want to hurt our little uh, excavator and then we use a little bit stronger touch because we are strong and then on this side as well, strong. And there we go. We have a glass effect. Wow, isn't that cool? Now we can create glass as well. Cool. Okay, next thing is I want to make uh, this little bucket also orangey yellowish. Actually, both sides I'm gonna make them orange because they are a little bit on the side so they are darker and this part I'm gonna mix uh, I'm gonna mix uh, orange and yellow and you can also color like this you can experiment Cool. Now I'm gonna use again yellow and color the top part just like this. And then mix these two colors. Create perfect mixture. Alright. And I'm gonna use yellow. Oh, wait yellow for the nose and then uh, brown for the inside of his mouth just like this we can also use black for the inside it's because it's really dark inside right okay like that and then we're gonna use 
little gray color color uh, the tires so we have one big tire and also we have one smaller just like that and I'm gonna leave those uh, two parts in white and also eyes and also teeth okay wow guys it's looking really awesome we drew excavator and last time we drew truck and now we can ride boom 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 and we can we can dig and we can play and we can have super cool time okay we have completed our little character so i'm gonna give it a little check mark as lesson completed good job guys and I'm gonna give it a little heart because we love our little character and great job guys see you in the next video if you like this video please share and subscribe and let's keep creating these super cool drawings